What's up guys, back with another video. And today we're gonna to be spicing it up a little bit. So um, I'm gonna be painting my brake calipers and I'm gonna be painting them in this um, bright blue. Um, it's a duple color, high heat, um, up to 500 degrees, I believe. So um, that should definitely be more than enough to um, stay on the calipers and keep it from like burning up or anything crazy. So, and I'm also gonna be spraying some white up underneath it to kind of maybe try to lighten it up because I like the blue, but maybe a little bit lighter would be cool, but not too sure how that's gonna work. So I guess we're gonna find out. With that being said, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification bell, and we'll get started with the video. So first things first, got to go ahead and get the uh, car jacked up. All right, so the car is now all jacked up. So now you just got to pop the wheels off. All right, guys, so now the car is all jacked up. We just need to go ahead and start uh, cleaning off the calipers. That way we don't get any um, dirt or grime under there, and that way the paint has um, like a nice clean surface to stick to. So here's what we're looking at. Since I'm not at like a shop or anything, I've got the wheels turned away so that way we don't get any um, paint primer or anything like that on the wheels. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get the uh, caliper cleaner um, and then we'll start getting our uh, taped off so we can uh, get it ready to paint. All right, so now I've got some uh, duple color caliper cleaner. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit this a few times. Um, we've got the wire brush so we can um, get some of the harder to remove dirt and grime off of there. And then once we get it all cleaned up, I've got some 1000 grit sandpaper here. So that way the, um, the paint has a nice surface to stick to. So we'll go ahead and get this thing cleaned off. And the brakes are a little bit warm from driving. So the brake cleaner is drying up a little bit fast. So just kind of got to move a little bit quicker. So you may want to grab like a, a toothbrush or something, that way you can kind of get in the smaller nicks and crannies. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get in there with a, with a cloth in your fingers. Stay tuned and we'll get this knocked out. So that's one down, uh, I've still got three more to go. So we'll go ahead and get started with the uh, the front passenger side um, and then we'll knock these other ones out and um, get her prepped for paint. So I've got all four of the rotors cleaned up now. Um, I will say if you do have an S5 with the S5 print on here, uh, I guess it's like paint, I don't know what it is really. Be careful with the brake cleaner because on both sides, um, I got some on there and when I went to swipe, it took some of that off. So I plan on uh, ordering a different one anyway, um, just because I don't really know how the red's gonna look with the blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this off so that way I don't get any paint on it or anything. And then um, whenever I get the calipers painted and the emblems get here, I'll go ahead and swipe the rest of that off of there and then I'll put the new emblem on there. Just a side note to be careful when you're um, cleaning these. But that being said, it's time to go ahead and get this taped off so that way we can uh, get some paint thrown on there. I got this trick from a another channel. It's called Dodd Rom Street. You've heard of them if you are into the automotive industry or scene, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and split this bag in half, um, and it's like a little trick to make it easier to uh, mask off the caliper. So uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Hopefully, it works out right. But you gotta split the bag in half at the seam. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut a little slit in here so that way we can stretch the bag around the caliper. Should be good there. Okay, and uh, basically doing that method just kind of saves you some time masking. So basically, I have the whole thing covered here and there is gonna be like a little bit of the rudder showing here, but once you start driving and braking a little bit, it should come off. So go ahead and get it finished up and uh, start with the rest of the wheels and then we should be able to throw that first layer of paint on there. So we now have this one masked off. Let's see with the trash bag method, um, basically it gets all up under there. So don't really have to worry about masking all around there too much. Um, and any residual should get burnt off by breaking. So. so with that being said, we'll go ahead and mask off the other three wheels and we'll get started with the primer. All right guys, so everything's taped off now. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, give her a couple scratches with the uh, 1000 grit sandpaper. And then we'll clean it off one last time and then we'll start throwing down some primer. Masked off. 
off. We got everything sanded down. Um, then we also got everything uh, cleaned off once again after sanding it. So um, I've been checking this can for a little bit now. So um, it's about time to get that first coat of uh, primer thrown on there. Um, and of course, the first coat's got to be lighter than all the rest of them just because um, you don't want to clump it up on there and start getting uh, a bad finish. So um, first coat super light, and then the rest of them you can kind of increase as you go. But um, with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so we got that first one done. Um, that's what it's looking like. It's super light coat, and then we'll let that sit for about 10, 15 minutes. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with the passenger side front wheel or brake caliper. Once again, pretty light coat, so we'll go ahead and uh, knock out the other two. All right, so time for coat number two of the primer. So on that layer, we went ahead and um, Got full coverage, as you can see, you can't really see through there as much. There's not really any patches. So we'll go ahead and uh, knock out the other three and then um, should be about time for some paint. I may do another layer of, uh, of primer though. So stay tuned and we'll find out. All right guys, so it's just about time for that third and final coat of primer. So just finished up with the third coat of primer. And once that dries up, we'll go ahead and throw on uh, those first couple of coats of white. Um, and after we spray on the white, then we'll go ahead with the blue. Um, and then once we finish with that, we should be about done. Um, I may throw some Plasti Dip clear coat on there that I have. Oh, I forgot to just pick up some regular clear coat. So we should throw that on there and that should be good enough just to protect it from any damage that it may uh, run into. Uh, primer is dried up now, so it's about time for that white coat. Uh, so I think I'm only gonna do two coats of white um, and then the rest I'll probably do like maybe four or five coats of uh, blue. All right, so the first coat of white is done and we'll go ahead and let that dry and then we'll knock out the other three and then we'll come back to this one. So now it's time for the second coat of white and the last coat of white. So I'm after to spray this. I've already been shaking up the blue here. Spray this one down and then we should be ready for blue. So we'll let this dry up and then we'll come back and spray a few coats of blue on there. I mean, that should be about time to button her up and um, see what she's looking like. All right, guys, so we're almost there. It's about time for the first coat of blue. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that laid down. So now it's time for the second coat of blue. Okay, so this will be coat number three. Um, and then after this one, I think I'll do about two more coats um, of blue. And then we'll probably do like a coat or two of a uh, clear coat. So, uh, coat number three. So we just let the, um, the last coat of blue go on. Um, and it's finally dry now. I'm um, sprayed about five coats of blue. And then now we're gonna go ahead and spray a couple coats of uh, clear. Then we'll go ahead and get all the tape pulled off. Um, then we'll get the wheels put back on and drop her back on the ground. So um, this will be the first coat of clear and then we'll probably do one more. Um, then we'll get her all buttoned up. All right guys, so I just finished up the uh, final coat of clear. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you what that's looking like. So clear coat came out pretty good. Um, I do love the blue, uh, I think it's a nice touch. There's a little bit of trash in there because we're not in the shop or anything, but by trash, I mean some debris. But other than that, it came out really good. Show you the front. All right, and this is what the front one's looking like. Also, it came out pretty good. Like I said, I do love that blue. It looks great. I got to get the tape peeled off of here. Got some tape over the S5 part there, and then there's tape all over here. So, so we're going to go ahead and let that dry for probably about 30, 45 minutes. I'm going to come back out here and pull off the, uh, the masking tape. All right, and this is what it's looking like all finished up. Yeah, it looks great. I'm sure there is a little bit um, that came through there, but 
Um, like I said before, once we start breaking and stuff, that stuff should all come off. Um, yeah, definitely happy with the result. Got a little bit of overspray back there, but coilover is coming soon, so those will, that'll, the springs will be gone, and then I can just sand that off of the um, lower control arm there. This is what the front one's looking like. Came out pretty good there. And like I said before, I have to order the uh, the sticker where the S5 is because I ended up wiping some of that off. But other than that, it came out pretty solid. All right, guys, as you can see, um, it is now morning, so got some daylight back. Car came out great, the um, calipers look really good, so I'll go ahead and give you a close-up of that so you can kind of see it in the light. Got the whole thing done, it looks really good. And like I said before, I did mess up the S5, so uh, I'm gonna order some Audi emblems and then I'm gonna clean that off of there. Um, then we'll get the new emblems put on there, but. Other than that, everything turned out great. All right guys, so I'm definitely happy with those results. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Um, I'm definitely happy with how it came out. I love the blue. Um, I'm not too sure if the white did anything, but at least I know I got a couple extra coats on there to keep it safe. But with that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And I will see you in the next one.